Hi, it's Sunday and I have a dog bandana shop next to my dog grooming shop and I do walk-in nail trims and every Sunday I make a video of what I'm making with dogs. These are some of the bandanas that are for sale here. They come in six different sizes and here are the items you'll need for today's doggy project. Today I'm working on something really cute. First off, I got my little fanny pack with my paw prints. I've already done two nail trims and it's about, I've been open about 25 minutes. So I'm open on Sundays for walking nail trims and my dog bandana shop, which I probably just told you that, but I have this pack of wooden sticks and today I'm going to make a plant, let's call it, a plant sign. You just wait. It's going to be cute. <laughs> if you have a sublimation printer, I mean, you're going to like this. But even if you don't have a sublimation printer, you can still paint it. I mean, it's still a good idea. I mean, you can paint, or if you have a Cricut, you can print out vinyl. But we're going to do a sublimation printer. Picture, plant, sign. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to paint this and decorate it. I have cracked glass, which I love cracked glass. I like anything that's shiny and bright. So this is Christmas green, but it's metallic paint. Just going to go ahead and paint this. I'm going to paint both sides. Okay, I got this at Walmart, and it's just a little canvas square. I can get this thing open. This is what I'm going to sublimate. So this is going to go on top of the stick. And I do have a plant. I have a couple plants in my groom shop. So I thought this would be really cute in my pot at work. As you can see, I have this propped up. I painted both sides of this stick. I'm going to put two coats on it. I'm just going to let that dry. So here's a sign I made a couple weeks ago with cracked glass. It says, it's for sale here in my groom shop. It says, welcome, hope you like dogs. Isn't that pretty? So I really like the cracked glass. They have all kinds of different colors. I'm going to have to get some more, but we're just going to use the clear because that's what I have today. I'm going to go ahead and put on the second coat real quick. I'm going to run in the house real quick. Take a picture of my dog. Make sure I got a good picture that I'm going to sublimate and put on this canvas square. Lucky for me, they're all huddled up together. So I'm just going to get a picture of all three of them. Okay, so if you can imagine, this is going to be sticking in the dirt. So I only probably want this much with the rhinestones or the cracked glass. So I'm going to put a piece of tape here just so it's a nice, straight, even line. I'll put it right about there. Then I'm going to put from here to here, I'm going to put Mod Podge and the cracked glass. I'm going to take my pen and little, put a little line right here. So that's between here and here is where I want to put my Mod Podge. I'm just going to use a sponge to paint this on. This paint dried fast. I waited about 10 minutes. So that's it. Actually, I'm going to put a lot of Mod Podge on because I really want it to stick. You could do this with glitter, too. In case you're wondering, I'm using outdoor Mod Podge. I don't think it probably really matters, but especially if it's going to be inside. 
Just load your glue up with your cracked glass. I have this little cup and I put a little bit of water in it. I'm going to mix about half and half Mod Podge and the other half water. And I'm just going to pour it over here because it's too thick and it's going to knock off the uh, little glass pieces. So I'm just going to kind of pour it over that. Then I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to walk over to the groom shop and just set this in front of a fan so it'll dry. My doggy gift shop is next to my groom shop. So I got bunches of fans back here just to cool down the dogs if it gets too hot because washing dogs and all, it gets a little warm back here, especially in the summer. Just close that in there and I'll come back in a little bit when it's dry and finish it. So I cut out a little square laminate sheet, the same size as my canvas square. I'm going to use my heat press to melt this on here. It's going to do about 20 seconds. I should have set the timer, but it won't take long. I'm going to take my dog's picture and put it on the canvas square. Make sure this is clean. And this should be 400 degrees. Oh, actually, I'm going to put a piece of tape on this, too. I forgot. We do not want it to move at all because it will make the picture blurry. Okay, so this is an experiment gone bad. <laughs> Look, I'm not an expert. I'm just showing y'all dog stuff that I make on Sunday. So the laminate did not stick to the canvas. If you guys know how to do this and tell me what I did wrong, I'd appreciate it. So the picture, the picture stuck to the laminate sheet, but the laminate sheet did not stick to the canvas. But I can make it work. I can just, because it's going to be inside, so, I mean, it's not going to peel. I can actually just glue it or I can put some tape, clear tape. You'll never see it. So we're going to keep going. We're going to roll with this little screw up and it's, it's still going to be perfect. This is not a big deal. We can totally fix this. So my stick is almost dry and I have my hot glue gun heated up. And I'm just going to put some hot glue in the corners right there and right there. Problem solved. And the more bling, the better. 
So we can put little diamonds on the corners just to hide these little glue spots, but you can't really see them anyway. So I'm going to put two drops at the bottom. Cool. So it is new. I don't know if you can see my, so I have three dogs. He's a 17-year-old Maltese, and we got the two in the background laying behind him. He is the star of the show. I'm going to take this outside and spray over this with the, this gloss finish just to help seal it. I'll be right back. I'm using E6000 and hot glue both to make sure that the picture does not fall off. I'm using more E6000 and hot glue to glue on this adorable purple bow. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I don't like anything to match. Is this something you would make? Let me know down in the comments and what colors would you use? How cute is that? Needless to say, I also made the pot with cracked glass too. And I put on these flowers. I got those at the dollar store. And I put on little dog stickers. There's a ladybug on that side. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching.